So hey guys, it's Jordan from TFK and from Tribe. Welcome to Tribe TV. We are so excited that you can be joining us today. We have got a jam-packed episode full of different things for you guys to get involved with and do today. First, we've got worship. Then we've got a couple of games. Then we've got some stories with Judah and the Cookie Monster. Then we've got a lesson with a guest storyteller, which we're super duper excited about. I'm going to pass straight over to the girls and they're going to be doing a song with you this morning called Ray of Light. So what I need everybody to do is stand up on your feet, give yourself a little stretch, a little stretch, shake it all out and get ready to do your best dance moves. Your love is like the galaxies, a universe surrounding me. Quietly reminding me You'll always be enough Your grace is like the ocean floor With hidden treasures to explore And my heart will be forever yours I'm ready for your love We lift one voice We bring an offering of praise We shout one
Cookie. One day, Knight Junior and Cookie set out on a quest. They wanted to capture a dragon. They set out and walked. And walked. And walked. All of a sudden, a bandit kidnapped Cookie. locked him up. Judas' quest changed from finding a dragon to helping Hooker. He ran and ran and ran! He climbed and climbed and climbed! Climbed and climbed and climbed! Until he rescued Cookie.
And now it's time for the verse of the week. This week's verse comes from the book of Luke and it says this, For nothing is impossible with God. Luke 1, 3, 7. Repeat after me, For nothing is impossible with God. Luke 1, 3, 7. Yes, well done, that's right. So let's see how much you can remember from that memory verse. What I need you to do is fill in the missing word in the blank. Have you got it? Okay, the first one's coming up. Get ready to fill in the blank. For nothing is with God. Luke 1, 3, 7. Did you get what it was? It was impossible. Okay, smarty pants. Can you get two missing words this time? For is with God. Luke 137. That one was a little harder, but did you get it? Let's see what the right answer was. So, let's see. If you said for nothing is impossible with God, Luke 137, you got it right. Well done. And now it's story time with Kev. Hi guys, uh, it's Kev here and I've come here today to read you a little story from the Bible. Uh, it's a story about Jesus, uh, one of Jesus' miracles. And it's about a guy called Lazarus as well. Now it all starts with Jesus with his friends, his disciples. And then something happens. He gets some news, some information that one of his close friends, Lazarus, is really, really poorly. Now, Lazarus had two sisters, Mary and Martha, and they were really good friends with Jesus too. And Jesus gets this news that his friend Lazarus is really poorly, so poorly he might not live. But Jesus does something a bit strange. He tells his friends that we're going to wait. We're not going to go for two days. And so they stay put. Now, Jesus' disciples were thinking, it's a bit odd. This guy's not very well, why don't, he, why don't he go and do something about it? But you see, Jesus wanted to show people just how powerful God really was. So after the two days, Jesus and his friends went to Bethany, where Lazarus and his family lived. And when they got there, Martha came running out to see him. And she said she was really, really upset with Jesus because... Lazarus had actually been dead for four days. They buried him four days ago. And so she said, well, why didn't you come and help us? If you'd prayed for him, he, he might have lived. But Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. And that whoever believes in me will never really die. And Martha believed in Jesus' words and so she took him with her and so they went to see where Lazarus was buried and then Mary came running out and said the same thing Jesus you're here why, why don't you come before you you could have helped us our brother's really poorly you could have made him better and Jesus looked around and saw everyone else was crying and Mary was crying and Jesus cried too he was overwhelmed with the sadness that everyone was feeling about Lazarus and the people started questioning Jesus again, saying, this, this man helped to heal people from their blindness and make people see. Could he not have brought Lazarus back to life or healed him too? So Jesus went over to where Lazarus was buried. He was buried in this cave. And there was a huge stone placed in front of the cave. And Jesus said, open the, open the cave, roll the stone away. People were a bit confused and a bit disgusted. Mary said, well, it might smell really bad. But Jesus asked them to do that. And so they moved the stone away. And Jesus looked to heaven and he prayed and he said, God, please show people just how powerful you really are. And that they believe in me and in you. And at that, Jesus turned towards the cave and said, Lazarus, come out. And just like that, somebody 
came out from the cave. It was Lazarus himself. He came out of the cave. He was covered in all the um, burial clothes and the cloth and everything. But he wasn't dead. Jesus had brought him back to life again. And that's the end of our story for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll hopefully see you all again very soon. Thank you, Kel, for that amazing story on the story of Lazarus. See, this story is one of my favourite stories because of something amazing that happens. See, our memory verse for the week talked about God being able to do anything. God can do the impossible stuff. And in this story, Jesus did something phenomenal. He did something that no, nobody else has ever done before, and that is raise someone from the dead and bring that person back to life. See, in my life, I've had lots and lots of impossible situations where maybe I've gone to school and I've really, 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 really struggled with English. I hated spelling when I was at school. Some of you know that. And while I was studying English, I really, really couldn't spell. Like, it was impossible for me. And what I remember doing as a little boy when I would go to bed at night is I'd say a little prayer and say, Dear Lord Jesus, help me to get better at my spelling. And over a period of time, I actually got better. See, I believe Jesus answered my prayer. See, Jesus shows us in this story of Lazarus that he can do anything. It doesn't matter if it's too big. It doesn't matter if it's too small. See, God is the God of impossible. And that means he can step into your situation and he can help you out. So maybe you're finding something difficult this week. Maybe you're finding it difficult being at home without your friends and you're a little bit lonely. Maybe, why don't you just say a little prayer to God and say, God, help me not to be lonely this week. Help me to enjoy spending time with my family this week. Help me to enjoy spending time with you this week. Maybe someone in your family's sick and you don't really know if they, that person's going to get better or not. Well, why don't you pray to God? See, God can make anything happen and we can trust him that he's going to do something amazing, amazing, amazing. So what I want you guys to do is remember that memory verse today. Remember that God can do the impossible things. Nothing is impossible with God. Can you guys remember that for me? Nothing is impossible with God. The way Jesus brought back Lazarus from the dead is the same way God can step into your situation. I really hope you guys enjoyed our lesson today. So this is going to be on YouTube. So you can watch it throughout the rest of the week um, as many times as you like. Um, so the link is going to come up on social media. So your parents need to give you the link so you'll be able to watch us. Um, but if, if we don't see you on YouTube, we will see you next time. So have an amazing week. Enjoy not being at school. Remember to work hard, study hard, do all your exercises that you need to do. And remember that memory verse. Nothing is impossible for God. We'll see you guys soon. We miss you all and we can't wait to have you back at TFK. See you later. Bye.